Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be playing a chance IOP. Kind of unorthodox, but I've just been wanting to try it. I don't know why. Um, now I'll show you guys the gear, but please do not copy this set. This shit is like not optimal in any way. I kind of just grabbed the PVM shit that I had on my Panda and I bought an EXO for it and I'm using an Emerald Topus because I know I'm going to be in melee. Uh, so we're here versus an IOP. So IOP versus IOP. Kind of an interesting one i guess it's a it's a funny way to start the video i suppose so the particularity of chance iop as far as i can understand is that they have a lot of their spells linked to shields and it's super melee based although you do have like sort of judgment and outpouring and stuff i'm i'm kind of curious to see how this is going to go i don't have an ivory dofus and i don't have a dococo which also sucks oh and i also don't have a pretech which i guess he has also he's playing 5 mp which is pretty smart uh assuming we're going to both be in melee which given his Elysial shield and mine, would be a fair assumption. So let's run here. I don't have much to do, so I'm just going to do this. One, two. I also put on spell animations, restarted my computer, all that shit, so we should hopefully be good. Uh, as far as I understand, I can also give myself shields. Again, I'm not super practiced with uh, Chance IOP. I've never really played it, but IOP's not too complicated. <laughs> it's, you know, it's notoriously uncomplicated. And uh, I mean, I have played some IOP, so I'm not completely, um, you know, unaware here what's going on. But let's see. He does have a pretext, so that's definitely a huge advantage. And if he's playing agility, the kind of the downside here with Chance IOP, as far as I can see, is that you also don't get shields, right? Because um, as an IOP, usually, uh, not not that you don't get shields, you do get shields. I mean, you can't place erosion. So all the other elements, well, I suppose only strength and agility. I don't think intelligence has it. I could have used persecution, but whatever. Anyways, let's do vitality. He has a pretext, so I'm kind of going to just wait that out. Uh, since I don't have erosion, my goal is going to be to help damage him. I feel like if I rush right now, there's no real point. You know what I mean? So we're just going to chill here. Also, yeah, so here's my set. Kitty Bonnet, Absolute Cape, this stuff. I'll just quickly run over the stats. You can pause if you want to. It's like not, nothing super interesting. But yeah, he just has a pretext, so we're going to wait him out. Um... He also has a Dumakuru though, so he's like also perfectly happy to wait out. So, you know, whether I I, I would rather deal with a Dumakuru than um than a pretext, so I'll I'll just wait. So yeah, you keep running, buddy. We'll see how how good that goes. Let's do. Let, maybe I can boost my sort of judgment a little bit. How much range do I need for? So I'll come here, do one clap, uh, and a quick jump back. And I have nothing much to do, so oh, I could have hit him with Pigmacia or something. Nah, I would have done no damage. I would have just given him. Does he have Ivory? Probably does. Yeah. Okay. No, this guy is way better geared than I. So let's see how it goes. So, anyways, on my turn now, the all the shields are gonna go, but also his Doma Crew is gonna be pretty close to being active. And I'm curious to see if he has a Dokoka. I suppose I wouldn't find out now since he's still at full HP. But we'll see. Okay, I don't think he used Vitality, did he? No, he did. Okay. Yeah, see, so he... That's the thing. He has Erosion. Um, if he's going to be playing with that, I definitely can't match that. The best I can do is hit hard, I suppose. <laughs> or I think kind of hard. Uh, let's see. This one has a second lane. I'm trying to think just in terms of recycling the uh, Ivory Dose here. Let me boost my power. Crit. Oh, that's too bad. So I can do that. How many turns? Two attacks. So I'll do this. And then I'm going to hit him with my weapon. And what that's going to do is remove Ivory with the first one. And then clap with the second. Or no. Hit with the first and then uh, remove Ivory with the second. So that's kind of the goal here. I feel like I could have just done more damage like that. Although like, I suppose now I don't have Ivory to deal with. But yeah. So he definitely hits much harder. Mm, does he hit harder? I don't know. That was a 4 AP spell. My 4 AP spell... I feel like he does hit harder, because I'm also under power, and he's not. Although I do have 29% res, and he has 48. So I feel... Okay. Overall... Oh, fuck off. <laughs> You're joking. <laughs> okay, I feel like overall... I was, I was going to say I feel like I hit harder. But I also don't think that's the case. Never mind. Alright, let's see here. Does outpouring attract first and then hit? I would be curious to see. Let's see. Yeah, I feel like it does. Uh, you know, I have no direct confirmation here, but just based off how I saw the animation pop up, I feel like it does. 
Okay, so now let's, I suppose I could do grip or something. Can I do it twice? Boom. Well, at least I'm clapping as well. And he's coming out of precipitation right now. I have pretty good shields. I mean, 550 a turn. He just got his Domakuru. That's kind of sick. Uh, I also, I'm going to have one more turn of power. So if I'm going to ever use precipitation, it's going to be next turn. Oh, also I need to put Vitality back. Oh, fuck. I have, I'm going to die. Oh, he's going to Virtue? Oh, you bitch. Imagine playing Virtue Isle first Isle. Oh my god, disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. All right, so I know what I'm going to want to do. I'm going to want to do Grip and Intimidation. So that would leave me with um, with 4 AP. So 4 AP is an outpouring, I suppose. So let's do Grip. Intimidation. Now, worth noting, he can still jump, okay? So I, I can't be too uncautious about it. He can still jump. But I'm thinking, okay, so if he jumps this turn, doesn't protect himself, I don't think he can kill me. Well, he does have precipitation. But, like, his jump can only, re like, reach this diagonal, so he can't hit... Oh, okay, I suppose he can go there. I was thinking he can't go on this cell here, so that's kind of in my advantage, because he can't do uh, Zenith. I feel like he can. Vitality... Okay, I feel like if I'm ever going to precipitate, it's now. Yeah, see, he has to... He's, like, way more ready for actual PvP shit than I am, so... <laughs> that's kind of paying off for him. Which is, uh, which is nice. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. Okay. Fuck it, let's precipitate. Let's go full shields in this bitch. How many shields can I stack? Boom. Boom. Uh, how many shields does this give me? Fair bit. Alright, and then Ivory. No, not Ivory. Uh, Emerald. Yeah, I'm totally dead. 12 AP. Zenith is gonna clap. Yeah. Yeah, I'm dead. I mean, he's just way better geared for PvP than I am. I'm in some PvP shit. PvM. The Coco, Ivory. Okay, what are you doing? Oh, is he, he wants to release kill me or something? <laughs> he could have released kill me. Come on, bro. Take it when you can. Always take a release kill when you can, guys. It's the first commandment of the Defy channel. Alright, I'll see you at the next fight. Alright, another fight. This one's also Ion versus Ion. That one didn't take long at all. Like, I literally just registered. It's been less than a minute. Uh, I know they reworked the Colo um, matchmaking system so that you get fights faster and stuff. That's kind of cool. I don't know if that's because... I don't know if I'm getting faster colos because of that, or simply because I'm very low rank, whereas usually I'd be at a much higher rank. Anyhow, again versus an Isle. Uh, do I have, like, I don't have to Coco or anything. I, I do want to win one, at least, <laughs> just so I don't come out of here looking like a loser. Maybe I should play Virtue, but I ain't no bitch, so we're going to play like this. Ooh. Ooh! Oh, fuck. Okay, wait. This guy, this guy is ballsy as fuck. Okay. First thing I saw was 8% chance, and I was like, all right, we take those. Then I see Cloudy, and 7% end. I'm like, okay, this boy's about to clap. So, sort of fate. So you already know he's coming in for a turn 3. Okay. Okay, he's coming in for a turn 3. Let's do a Vitality. Two of these. One of these. Now let's run all the way out here. And depending where he goes... I I'm kind of kind of hoping he's going to jump in and I can bait him that way. Because then what I'm going to do, if he jumps in and comes in too close, I'm going to just grip, push him, and then run away. And then his whole turn that he's setting up here for Cloudy with power and everything is going to be going to waste. So we'll see. Yeah, I mean, all these people are, you know, I'm, I, I'm not such a fan of running away or anything. But the way these people play, like with their pre tags and shit, just makes me need to run away these first two turns. Also, it does look fucking nice to see 5,600 HP. Like, looking down and seeing that, I'm like, damn, I'm a tank. Okay, so I'm gonna do power. Honestly, how hard can he hit? Let's... Okay, come on. Like, how hard can he hit? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to come where he can hit me if he jumps and does blow, which is here. So here he can jump there and do blow, and I'll, I'll be attracted. Because I know he set up his turn for this, his whole gear is based around this, so he's going to want to do it. 
Um, but I'm just wanting him to waste as much AP as possible. So he's going to have to jump and do something. So he's going to waste everything on that. Meanwhile, I'm fully boosted and everything, so it should be fine. Let's see how hard he can hit. Okay, go ahead. All right, I'm calling it. 1.7. Uh, 1.7. 7. Fuck. <laughs> 2.2. That do clap. Ooh, fight back. That's not bad. Uh, let's see here. Now, would I activate fight back first? Let me, if I pulled him, would I activate the pull first? I mean, I suppose it doesn't matter. Yeah, no, it doesn't matter. Okay, so let's pull him with threat, because that way we can just clap him here easy, no problem. Uh, and then here we can do endurance and cleaver. Oh, watch this cleaver. Oh, fuck, that hurts. <laughs> Ay ay ay, 1.4k, holy shit. He does have only 8% res, and I was boosted with power, and I guess Divine Sword, but come on, man. That's some beautiful damage, jeez. Would be interesting to see the application of um, of a Chance Eye, oh. Yeah, it would be interesting to see the application of a Chance Eye op in higher level uh, Colo. I don't know, just seems kind of interesting. Okay, is he going to run away? Because it's kind of scary. Because now he's going to probably run away. Let me see. Because I can hit him like this. And Vitality. So what I'm concerned with here is that he's going to kill me next turn. Because he has everything back. And... Oh, he does lose the Vitality though. Okay, no. He does lose his Vitality. So let's just try and actually kill him this turn. Uh, let's see. Let's do... That, let's try to because he loses the vitality. I just noticed. Oh, he's about to die. Oh my god, why am I hitting so hard? This guy's got to be playing... What's that shield that gives, like... There's got to be a shield that's giving negative melee res or some shit like that. These fights were kind of fast, and I'm enjoying it, so we'll do one more. I'll, I'll sign up really quick. Maybe by the time I find that shield, we'll uh, we'll get another fight, but I'm so, so curious. What was it? Was it that uh, war shield that gave negative melee res? Yeah, I feel like he's definitely playing this, because he's obviously trying to go full damage. But like, why would you play this and not Captain Amakna? Because that one also gives, like, crit damage, no? And it's, like, negative range res, and I'm an eye up, so I think you'd prefer to have negative range res than melee res. But then again, this one does have a set bonus. Probably something to do with that, let's be honest. Okay, I guess I'll see you guys at the next fight. Alright, here we go. So, another fight. This one is a Fekka. Uh, obviously, I don't know why I narrate like that, but I'm just thinking because as far as I know, I'm pretty sure Fek has quite a powerful counterclass to uh, IOPS. What with Gravity, uh, Barricade, Aegis, and just their general protective and AP reduction and stuff. Like, I, I feel like I'm about to get smoked, but at the same time, I also feel like I don't have much of a choice. Um, Let's see. I I wish I had a Dococo, man. I would love to play Virtue Dococo. The thing is, okay, if I was playing Hardcore versus Fekka, I feel like he, there's no way in hell he could beat me if I was actually trying here and I had the right gear. Because I'll play a tank set where I can heal. And I have enough heal with Vitality and Virtue and if I had a Dococo that uh, since I have Erosion and he doesn't, there's no way in hell he'll beat me. But I guess I don't have Erosion, so let's just see how it goes. Or, um, sorry, I guess I don't have just a set that's as good as I want, so whatever. Let's just... Okay, so if I go here, let's just go YOLO. Come at me. Oh, fuck, I wish I could go there. I guess it doesn't matter. 11-5. Why do I feel like he's about to clap hard? <laughs> he's about to clap super hard. I do love the shields, though. Like, it's definitely helping with the sustain. Naturally, of course. I mean, 100 shields. It's like 100 heals, right? It's like super nice. Okay, Gus. So obviously he doesn't like to play melee, so I'm going to keep sticking to him. Okay, he's also playing ramparts in 1v1 and not fortification. So, you know, obviously I'm not playing versus tip top of the ladder. These are the first uh, colos I'm doing with my eye up here. Glaring mistakes, of course. But, I mean, yeah, don't don't ever play rampart in 1v1 unless you're just, you're dying to protect your tofu or some shit, you know? Not your Tofu, I mean your Arachne. Anyways, he has a Glyph there. We're not going to fall for that. We're just going to attract him and lock him against the wall. We smart out here, bro. All right, then we're going to power after our damage. See, most people think it's good to do power before you hit. 
Uh, but there's actually this bug where if you power after you hit, um, you won't get bullied in school. So I'm trying to kind of use that because, let's be honest, I, I have been getting bullied a little bit. So let's do a cleaver. Uh, real tip here. Okay, so <laughs> fuck what I was saying. For real, though. Uh, first spec is try use like high base damage spells. Like this one, cleaver. It's 47 to 53. It's high AP cost, but with uh, Fekas who have like Rampart or Fortification on, it's much more worth it to use uh, single spells with high uh, base damage rather than multiple spells with low base damage. For example, let's say I had 4 AP. Instead of doing a Leak Pie times 2, if I did Tumult, it would do a lot more damage. And that's just kind of the way how uh, damage reduction works with like Fekas and stuff. So. Uh, again, I'm just going to attract him. This this threat spell is cool as fuck, honestly. Uh, let's pull him in. And again, let's do Cleaver. Because high base damage, I think he has one more turn of that. So let's do Cleaver. And if he has an Ivory pop-up... Well, he doesn't. But anyhow, I'll do this. Also, how did he get away from me that time? What did he do? Ah, uh, Telegoth. Okay, he's fucked. Because <laughs> he can't Telegoth now. So I I'm curious to see what his plan is when he can't... Maybe... Uh, okay, so Barricade. I suppose if he's smart and he had the right spells, he would do, like, uh, Kawa and Excursion. What's a variant of Excursion? Someone put that in the comments. I don't know. Excursion being the uh, the swap spell that he, that puts uh, the green glyph. I don't know if Eka spells in variants well enough, so I'm not actually too sure. Okay, so Leak Pie. A little bit of AP reduction. That's pretty bad. Uh, all right. Well, I don't want to stay here. And okay. Let me just actually. I'm just gonna jump here. We're gonna do a little like defensive-ish turn. It's not actually a defensive turn, but like okay, he's gonna want to come there and do lateral flame. So what should I do? Let's just do this and see what happens. Yeah, also guys, I don't know, I haven't told you this, but right now, I'm upset. 50,000 on my head is disrespect. <laughs> Sorry guys, <laughs> I have to make that joke. It's a it's a Drake cleric, it's been floating around in my head all day. And I just had to go put the rest of my commas in my haven bag just to, just to drop that. Yo, amazing song though. I keep listening to it on fucking repeat every time I'm on my way to work, and I like mega hyped. I work in sales right now. And every time I listen to it on the way, I'm like, fuck, bro. I will sell anything, dude. I just get way too hyped. And then I go and I don't sell anything. But, you know, you win some and you lose some. All right, where are we at? So he did he did his shit again. Uh, let's attract him, because that's cool. I find that the, the gameplay is a little redundant, uh, to say the least. Boom. Is there a damage difference? I mean, this one gives more shields, I guess by 25%, so I guess he has 50 shields extra. That's not bad. Teleglyph. Well, I have jump, buddy, so fuck your teleglyph. Ouch. He does clap, though. He does clap. Ay, 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 ay. Calmate, calmate. And I do have this, which is pretty far as well. But yeah, no, he's like fucked. I'm just gonna jump. Hippity hoppitus. Boom. Ooh, can I kill him with release? Please, 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 please. Oh, fuck! I, no! Damn it, bro! What's my crit percent? 22. Oh, my God. That's disrespect, bro. Oh, no. Shit, I have too many comments. <laughs> I can't make the joke anymore. Fuck. All right. Whatever. Let's do a quick uh, demonstration of damage on the pouch before we close up the video. I'm curious what I would do on, like, 0%. I'm sure it would be less than what I did on that IO, because he only had 8 and then minus 15 from the shield, so it would be less than that. But, I'm just curious. So, so let's say I did that, boom, boom. What can I do in like a full turn of damage, is what I'm trying to say. Boom, boom. Alright, so let's see. How can I best use um, 12 AP? I feel like I could do this twice and this twice, right? I feel like that's the best. Or maybe like Cleaver, that, and a 2 AP. Like, okay, this times two, so about 14,000, or 1,400, sorry, and 1,600, so 3k versus 1k, 1k something. Feel like, feel like it's more damage to do it like this. Boom, boom, boom. 
Boom. Oh, and I forgot to precipitate. Okay, so let's say I did precipitate. I would have uh, 3 AP more. Oh, fuck. I could have used my, my AP completely differently. Okay, let's say I would have done another 1,000 damage if I had used my AP better. Okay, so about 4,500. I mean, by IOP standards, it's not crazy. But they definitely have the benefit of the consistent damage uh, instead of like some burst capabilities. And the shields are always really cool. And you can also con consistently boost this. Like, how high does that go? I'm curious. Here, take some vitality because you're finna die, bro. Oh, all right. So now we're like fully boosted because you get three boosts, I think. Okay, so now let's say I did that. Now what would I hit? Not bad, especially because you can do it at range. All right, that's cool. Anyways, so that was basically my overview of Chance Isle. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I've been wanting to do just like kind of chill PvP videos like this where I just pick a class, pick an element, and see what's up. Today it was Chance Isle. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you next time. Have a good day, and goodbye.